We found her tethered in a field in Hertfordshire. Um, she was tethered with no food and water. Um, she'd been there for at least six days. She was actually tethered to an old bike that she was dragging round with her. The rest of the tether was attached to a fence, so she couldn't drag it all over the field, but it was a significant hazard and potentially could have caused her some real bad injuries. We think possibly because the rope that she was tethered with was so long, they decided that rather than making the rope smaller, they would just wrap it round a bike. Tethering isn't illegal, but it must be done safely. And to tether a horse to a bike um, that it was dragging around behind it, where it could really get significant injuries if it got tangled up or stood on it, um, is just not acceptable. She was in really, really poor body condition when we found her. As you can see, she still, she still is. Her hips and spine are protruding through her skin. You can see that you know, she's, she's really underweight. Um, it's an interesting situation because from afar, with the winter coat, um, to an untrained eye, you wouldn't really believe that she was in the poor body condition that she was in. It wasn't until we approached and put our hands on her that we realised the, the dire situation that she was actually in. So identification is a real issue um, with these sorts of situations. Um, by law, she should be microchipped and passported. Um, she doesn't have either of those things. She definitely was owned by somebody because she had shoes on all four feet, um, which in itself is a significant welfare concern because she is only about a year and a half old. So if shoes suggest that she was doing some kind of work and in the body condition that she's in um, and the age that she was, that's just not appropriate. We couldn't establish any ownership of her at all. Um, notices were left, um, but nobody responded. Um, so she was taken into possession under the Animal Welfare Act by a vet and the police. She is such a sweet little filly. Um, she's got a really good future ahead of her. She's really easy to handle. She's calm and quiet and lovely. Um, and I think now she's here with World Horse Welfare, I can see her moving on to a really lovely home. So in, in these types of jobs where you've got a, a slightly different situation, whereas she's tied to a bike, um, and there's a happy ending where she's come to us and we've managed to save her successfully, we always look for a nice name that links back to the original job. So we racked our brains for a bike related name and the, uh, the best one we came up with was Pedals, much to some people's disgust. <laughs> So this is the first time I've seen Pedals um, since a few days after um, she was removed. And as you can see, she's completely transformed into, uh, she looks completely different. I could, wouldn't recognise her if I hadn't been told who she was. Um, she was in really, really poor body condition. And um, to be honest, I think she was in, she was close to, to her um, not, not surviving. She was in a really, 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 really bad way. Obviously the best part of my job is to be able to remove these, these horses and ponies from these terrible situations and then be able to come and stand in a field with them and look at them fully recovered with an amazing prospect of a new home and, and a great life. When she first came here, she was covered in lice, so she had to be clipped completely and treated for them. Um, her skin was in pretty poor condition underneath her coat. Um, as you can see now, it's improved considerably. Um, and her body condition is just absolutely perfect at the minute. You can feel slight ribs. She's lovely and covered over the top of her rump. Um, and yeah, she just looks absolutely brilliant. I 
and as we said, Pedals is found in a really, really dire situation, terrible environment um, with a really poor body condition. And I think, you know, if you see a horse that's in that situation, the most important thing is that you call an enforcement body to come and try and help. World Horse Welfare is the perfect option. Um, we, you know, we can go and assess the situation. We can try and make contact with an owner um, and trying to get the situation resolved. Or, you know, like this case, we can remove the pony and get it to safety. World Horse Welfare wouldn't be able to do this incredible work if it wasn't for the donations of the public um, and also people rehoming these ponies and giving them a great life. So um, yeah, please donate if you can and if you really want a horse then come to World Horse Welfare. Oh, she's going to sleep. <laughs> I mean, she should get a home in heartbeat, shouldn't she?